Throughout my Costa Rica videos, we've learned about a huge variety of different wildlife. From inquisitive primates to screaming frogs, from vibrant snakes to giant vultures, we've had some truly awesome adventures together. However, I've been saving my favorite wildlife encounter of the trip for this final episode filmed during my time abroad. This incredible natural interaction was filmed right in the middle of our camp and was first brought to my attention by some surprise screams and yelling beside our dining tent. I sprinted over as fast as I could, knowing that only a snake could cause such a commotion, and nearly stepped on a gorgeous six-foot musarana enjoying its iguana dinner. As more and more volunteers gathered around to witness the spectacle, we switched our headlamps to red light so as not to disturb the snake's mealtime, and watched transfixed as the huge animal slowly swallowed its prey. This was the first and only time I have ever seen a wild snake eating. As most species eat quite infrequently and only in locations where they feel very hidden and secure. I'm not sure exactly why this individual decided to chow down in our camp, but it's entirely possible that the juvenile iguana had been using our tents as a refuge before he was discovered and consumed. The entire process took about five minutes, and before he retreated back into the jungle, I was lucky enough to be able to present the gorgeous animal for the camera. No, 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 no. He's apparently fast. All right, guys, check it out. Now, he's done eating. He just swallowed that entire little spiny tail, uh, spiny iguana, and you can see that it's already pretty much, I mean, as flat as the rest of his body, which is impressive. I mean, this snake, you can really see, now that we can hold him, how thick the snake is. This is the heaviest snake that I think I've held, other than the Burmese python and the Everglades. Uh, and God, he is just such an absolute beautiful animal. Now, one thing that's interesting about these that I failed to mention before is that not only are these constrictors, they are also rear fanged. Now, what that means is that unlike a pit viper or an elapid, which has fangs in the front, actually in the back of his mouth, right before that throat, he has two small fangs, and they do secrete a mild neurotoxic venom. However, in order for that venom to be excreted, he has to bite and chew. Um, so he doesn't have any kind of special mu musculature to inject the venom like a pit viper or an elapid would. He relies on gravity in that kind of chewing motion to disperse the venom, and that just kind of aids him in the construction and debilitation of prey items. Now we're unsure about the snake's actual hunting habits. Obviously it's night right now, um, so it, it seems like they are fine hunting at night. However, we don't know if they like to hunt in trees or not. Because he was eating a juvenile iguana, we're thinking maybe they do hunt at least semi-arboreally. But traditionally, this snake is thought of as a ground hunting snake. Uh, and, oh, while he's doing that, check out the underbelly. I mean, everything about the snake is beautiful. But definitely the most uh, well-known feature of Musaranas, besides their very impressive size and stature, is that they do eat uh, all the venomous pit vipers that Costa Rica has. And as you guys know, uh, you have things like the Fair de Lance here, uh, which are extremely venomous pit vipers. And these are actually completely immune to the effects of that venom. And if you are ever lucky enough to see one of these snakes in the wild, uh, absolutely no reason to harm it or kill it. They are a completely non-venomous species. As you can see, they are very docile when handled. Um, and there is really no reason for you to, to worry. Uh, you can just let them go about their business and they will shortly leave your property and probably go back to hunting the snakes, which could do you much more harm. So we're gonna get just a couple more video clips of just these scales and then get him right back in the wild. Can you catch that iridescence? Does the camera catch mm -hmm. it? Yeah, a little bit. Wow, God, they're just, I mean, look how thick that is. Just solid muscle. He's been a great subject for this video. I could not be more pleased with this snake. Uh, certainly one of the most incredible animal encounters I've ever had in my life. Uh, getting to see a predator-prey interaction and just hold a snake that is this beautiful. 
I feel so lucky to have had this experience. We'll get him back. Is it that way? Check it out. Look how silky smooth that movement is. Wow. And, and that's such a big animal. You can see he went right over there towards that little brush pile. Watching him move in the wild is incredible and just navigate that terrain. So you can imagine, I mean, at night especially, that blue-gray uh, coloration really lets him blend in with the shadows extraordinarily well. And if you were a pit viper or anything else, you'd probably never see or hear the snake sneaking up to you on the forest floor. Well everyone, that's just about it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed and learn something new about the Musarana. If you did enjoy, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like on this video, and consider subscribing to my channel for more educational wildlife content coming every other Saturday morning. Thanks so much for watching, and keep adventuring everywhere. This has been Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.